if you all saw the IGTV video where Laura um, made the canvas piece of work um, and we were jumping up for joy about the cells that she created. That's the finished piece. So we've still got the cells there, they remain. But we had loads of questions off you guys of how Laura actually did that because we had um, a, um, a crisis of confidence, didn't we? <laughs> we didn't, didn't film, film it. The so so it wasn't expected to win. <laughs> Nothing ever does. <laughs> it was you know, quite shocking that something had actually worked. So we're going to try and show you now. Here you go. Okay, so I'm going to take this out of the coaster so I can reuse this coaster mold. But just after I did this, I just had a quick go pouring what I had left over in there. So that was just the example in a coaster mold. So I can use this mold now. So let's hope it works again. <laughs> Right. It won't work now, <laughs> yeah. sods law. So I've just pre-mixed some of our premium epoxy resin, um, which is one-to-one -one ratio. So I've mixed that up. That's um, some ivy green epoxy pigment. It's the up oh, in Antarctica, yeah. That's yeah. it, yeah. So the green, ivy green epoxy pigment paste, the peacock blue paste, vineyard paste, and oops, Hawaiian blue. So what I did was I just took oops, the premium perfect cells and just added around three to four drops. A bit further up, that's it. Sorry about the gloves. <laughs> the gloves are way too big for me. Hey, can I just stop you there? I've got a really itchy nose. So the camera's over there. I mean, your nose is itching. Right, that's it. So the premium perfect cells and I put around one, two, three, four, and just a little bit more, three to four drops into the Hawaiian blue and then just give it a mix. Make sure it's all the way through there. Okay, then I literally just went in with the colours. So we're gonna start with, I'm gonna use that one last and put that one in last. I don't even know if that makes a difference, but it's just a practice. So I'm just gonna put in, that's the peacock. So if you put the cells in just in the Hawaiian blue, right, I've not, okay. I mean, it'd be good to have a try. You know, if you put them into more than one of your paste, what would happen? But I'm yeah. literally just doing what I did yesterday. Right. Because okay. I just put them into the one. Yeah. So you don't need yeah. all of them, do you? And then. Because the paste themselves do create cells, don't they? Yeah. But maybe the white is better than the other colours, maybe. The... So we've not tried that though, have we? I've used the peacock, haven't I? So. It's vineyard. I probably won't worry about going too much to the top of the coast just to give an idea. Yeah. And then, oops, going in with the Hawaiian blue now. Okay. And obviously, did this on the canvas, but it's just to get an idea. And so. They look dark, those colours, don't they, until they're unmolded yeah. and you see the true colour. Move those out the way because the hairdryer tends to blow everything wild off the table. So, <laughs> remember that time? You no, well, yeah, talk. it nearly went out the back door onto the. <laughs> right, so, so we told you that a little bit. Let's just get it going. Oh, Lotsy! Oh, you blow it off. Woo! Am I handing away? Uh, no, you can see it. The technique was obviously better that time. I, I think it's as well it needs to settle and it's over curing, I noticed that it. Yeah. But you can definitely see them there. I mean, God, guys, you'll be able to create better ones than us, but it's just to yeah. show you the that's, actual that's, method yeah. of it. 
It's just, yeah, it's just, it is so addictive because you keep thinking, I'll do this and I'll yeah, try this next yeah. time. Yeah. So, so there you are, it's all in, on mold that tomorrow.